Let's get started with making our climatographs. First, we're going to import our latitude and longitude into the website given. We're going to choose monthly temperature. We're going to submit the query. Make sure we're patient enough to allow it to go through. You can see at the top in the tab that it's still moving. The data has come in for us. So what we want to do is download the data. So on my Windows machine, it looks like this. I'm just going to say Save File. It's going to go to my Downloads folder. Press OK. And then now I need to get my monthly precipitation. We're going to submit that query and wait for it. It will take longer on your machine. The data is there. I'm going to save it. And now we're going to try and load it into our Google Drive. So I'm going to open the folder where it's at. I'm going to first rename these so I know what they are. This one is the temperature. It was the first one I did. This one is precipitation. Now in my drive, under Apes, under climatograph, I'm going to hit File Upload. I'm going to go to my Downloads folder and bring in my temperature values. And be patient as it loads. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to say New, File Upload. And I'm going to choose the other one, Precipitation. Open that. Now I'm going to actually open these up in a Google Sheet. So I'm going to open with Google Sheets. Let it do its work. I have precipitation. Now I'm going to go back to the tab. I'm going to choose the other file. Here's my temperature. I'm going to open with Google Sheets. And here we have it. It's working. So now I'm going to delete values out of this column, drag at the top, E through H, and say delete columns E through H. I'm going to switch over to my precipitation and do the same thing. Delete E through H. Now I'm going to go back to my climatograph and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to say new Google Sheet and I want it to be a blank one. I'm going to retitle it combination temperature and precipitation. Now I'm going to go over to my temperature, highlight the top row. If I get the whole thing, I'm going to do a control C. I'm going to go back over to my combined temperatures. Click the top corner row. Paste in. And I'm going to do the same thing for precipitation. Select all, copy. Back over to combine, paste. Now I'm just looking to see that my data actually matched as I came in. And it looks pretty good. I'm looking at dates, making sure that everything's lined up. So now I can see that there's excess data at the bottom. So I'm going to go up to my 2019 data. And I'm going to actually just highlight all of these by selecting the left column and say delete rows 20, 30 through the end. And I'm looking at going back to the top. So scroll all the way up, and I'm going to take out the excess values of date, year, and month. And so I have my data that I need to do. I'm going to have to change one thing because I want the labels to be different. So I'm going to do a find and replace. So all the ones I want to be labeled as January. I don't want match case, but I want to match the entire cell contents. That way it doesn't do 1850 and change that one. I'm going to hit reply all. Actually replace all. And now I have January in the right place. I'm going to do this again through the beauty of fast forwarding. You'll see me go through all of these values. And you can see how it's populating every single one as I type the changes. Now I have my values, so I'm ready to make my graph. So I'm going to highlight, noticing that I actually selected the top. I'm inserting a chart. I need to change from a column chart to a combo chart. 
and now I have to customize it. So I'm going to look at the series and I want to actually apply this to the, the temperature series first. That's the left column and then now this is going to be on the right axis and now I have good values there. So now I need to change the chart titles. So here I'm going to put temperature and precipitation for 1850 because that was the year I used. I'm going to check my right vertical axis and label it as precipitation. My vertical axis will be temperature and to get the degree sign you have to hit Alt 0176 and I get the degree Celsius and then now I have to title the vertical axis as month. And I can resize, I can end up doing whatever I want with that chart. Now to prepare for the next one I want to take the column headers I'm going to insert a row above the next group. I'm going to paste it in. And from there, I'm going to highlight it. And I can start the process again for whatever data sets that I need. Good luck to you.